we're in DCS World A10C testing the landing gear and flap control panel from Simparts DE. The panel is controlled using DCS BIOS via an Arduino Mega clone. The power for the whole panel, including the backlighting, indicator lights and servo is coming through the Arduino ground and 5 volts from the USB connection. There's no additional power. All the functions are working for this test, including the panel backlight, the switches, the indicator lights. The flaps position indicator that you see is just a small 5 volt servo with a paper face, just for testing. Um, a bit more on that later. So going through the switches, the anti-skid switch. The landing light switch. The gear down lock override push button. The engine monitoring data switch at the bottom. And then the landing gear handle itself. You'll see the transit warning light in the gear handle follows the simulation. The three position indicators for the gear wheels also follow the sim. There are three independent controls. And finally the flaps. The flaps are in the up position at the moment so we can move those down to the seven degree maneuvering position and then fully down to 20 degrees for landing then back again the power consumption for the configuration we have here including the uh, the Arduino Mega clone itself so the total through the USB connection with all the LEDs off and the backlight off it draws about 80 milliamps so that's that's the minimum with just the backlighting switched on it increases to 97 so about 17 is being pulled by the backlight the maximum i.e. gear down and the flaps moving is about 130 140 milliamps I, I haven't seen it go higher than 140 in any of the tests. Uh, by the way, that's using a, a 150 ohm resistors on all the LEDs, including the backlight. So depending on the resistor and the current, those LEDs pull will de determine the overall current consumption. The panels actually sold in three different configurations. Um, one without hardware, which is just two plates second option is ready for wiring to I.O. That's the option I chose. And the third option is plug and play for CAN bus, which is not something I need. So I ordered the, um, the ready for wiring to I.O. option in February this year, 2019. I thought I would receive something that looks like what you see, all the switches, lights, landing gear handle, flaps, position indicator. When the order arrived within a couple of weeks, I was surprised that there was no flaps position indicator fitted at all. So I thought perhaps that had been missed off by accident, but the supplier told me they normally only include the gauge on the CAN versions because it's difficult to drive the gauge otherwise. Um, after a bit of an email exchange, they tell me they're working on a flaps position indicator for me that I could drive with a servo or stepper motor. It's been three weeks now, so a bit, bit disappointing there. It wasn't entirely clear from the website uh, what I would receive because the link to the data sheet is broken. So I had to go off the photos and I thought the photos were pretty clear that a flaps position indicator would be included. Anyway, that's why I've, that's why I've included this, um, that's why I fitted this simple 
indicator, just a small 5 volt servo with a paper face and the servo lever used as an indicator arm. The photos that follow later in the video will show you um, the panel exactly as I received it. So overall, uh, you'll see from the, from the video and from the photos that follow, the panels look good, uh, especially with the backlighting on. That's really effective, very subtle, very, uh, very good looking. There's a couple of marks on the front panel that look like stray glue that's got onto the panel when it was being assembled. The landing gear handle is quite rough. I guess maybe it's been 3D printed, uh, so a, quite a rough finish. And the, the movement in the panel is, is pretty rough. It's loose, it's a bit clunky. It, 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 it does spring in and out, so it operates on kind of a cam mechanism, but it's all, it's put together with just a couple of, um, a couple of screws with, with rough threads so it doesn't run very smoothly it, and it's a bit loose and, and it becomes looser in operation because this, the screws slowly undo themselves. I'm disappointed with that. Um, disappointed that there's no flaps position indicator fitted but I will continue with it. I'll work on the landing gear handle because it's a pretty simple mechanism and it should be easy to get it operating a lot more smoothly. I'll, I'll change from the uh, Arduino Mega clone to a much smaller Arduino that can be fitted in behind the panel. That will leave just that one USB connection running from the PC to the panel which is uh, a really efficient way of doing it and um, I'll see what I eventually receive from SIM parts, what kind of uh, flaps position indicator they come up with, and I'll just work on my own in the meantime. It's quite a simple thing to make. I've ordered, I've got a couple of different servos to try. I've ordered some uh, acrylic circles. They're like 50, 60 millimeters diameter. So I'm sure I can make up quite a nice looking indicator gauge if I'm not, if I'm not happy with what I get from the panel supplier. Some close-up photos follow that show the panel and its components as they were supplied. So everything that came in the order. Hope you've enjoyed the video and the photos are useful. Thanks for watching.